da, da. Hey guys, it's Pinch Degree 07, and I'm gonna teach you how to make a hard game like this. And you gotta get the ball, and if you touch that, you'll lose. And the game stops, and if you touch the black, the game stops. So basically, all you gotta do is try to get this ball from the one end. To the victory block. So let's get started. We're going to open up a new product. Okay. Now delete the sprite by here, and then we're going to have to, of course, make a new sprite. And we're going to have to make a small ball. I'm going to make a red one. This our ball. Now call scraps and controls, scraps and when clicked and a go to block. Wherever your ball is, put the go to block in. Of course it's off. we're gonna have to have now a um forever if, not a forever, not not for an if, just a forever if. Because I've been using ifs a lot for the same forever if. Sense in uh, key space pressed and go for F arrow motion change Y by 3 and add in the F on edge bounce okay and you could just like duplicate it get rid of the go to bit because we only need down the first block so I'm going to change that to a down arrow so that change that into a minus to negative 3 duplicate that again and go on to left, no uh, right, sorry get rid of the Y and put in the X and change X by 10 to the if and bounce in put the 3 you duplicate it, then that again, like then you can change it into a left, change that into negative three. Okay, and if you have a look and you click here, ball is moving by key points. That's how we want the game to work. And instead of the ball back to where we want the start of the beat, click that, goes back to where it was. Because we have the go to block in. Now we want to create a really good background. So we come to stage, backgrounds, and edit. Now you can do whatever type of background you want for your type of game. For my game, I'm going to have black square at the bottom, one at the top. Sometimes it's just my head and this happens. Okay. And now uh, what I would do is I'm gonna put uh, like something like that. It's okay, I'm really hard. Okay. Now, what I you would usually do now is check that it fits in all of it, and I don't think it'll fit. For you. Oh yeah, well, it's gonna be quite a bit of a bugger going in. Okay. Now that's done. Now we'll add in a new sprite, and this sprite is gonna. A word and victory. Change that into yellow and highlight it in blue. Oh no, 
Let me see it. The right end is yellow. And the box is blue. Looks old, looks like a piece game like I did that tutorial before on the 80s thing. Okay, now basically we're gonna want it to go into there. So if you have a look, when we're playing this game now, it's gonna be like we can't cut across into there. Because I'm gonna have like all this to um go see I can cut everything now and be okay, but when the actual game comes in handy, that's when you gotta start thinking a bit more. Cause this game is gonna be quite hard. Now there's a mistake with it, because if the game started and it touched the black with it, you're going to lose in seconds. So I'm going to put it to 212. 212. And one. So look. There we go. That's it. It's fine now. Let's try it. So that's now done. Okay, this is the end of tutorial one on how to make a hard game. Until the next tutorial, to wrap.